by its hard knot day, the past day. Having a hard knot breakfast. Morning, welcome to DMT and I'm in Cumbria. I'm on the second loop, which is the Lakeland loop and the weather god has bestowed good fortune. Look at that for a view and weather. So I'm just heading to Penrith. To, uh, that's where my loop's gonna stop, from that top right hand corner, go clockwise. Here's a tip guys, if you see a car in the middle of the road with its hazards on, which it did back there, I thought he had a problem. And then around the next corner, I've got a herd of sheep. <laughs> so, take that as a warning. Morning Sean. So I've just stopped because at two pull-offs from two junctions, the back wheel spun. I don't know why. I've, I did go over some roadkill. I thought, I've got a hedge, I've got a rabbit stuck to my back tyre. But, seems all okay. That's lovely, that is. And this is a nice, uh, serene little ride around uh, Ull's Water. Uh, every so often there's a little inlet with people parked up fishing and you can see them on the edge of the lake. I just stopped to change the, uh, the battery on this camera and when you turn around you think, oh yeah, crikey, look at that, there's a nice view behind me. Morning! Morning! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just reached the top of that summit, so you can see now this is uh, the A592 Kirkstone Pass. It's only a 20% grade in this one, uh, compared to the odd knot. Um, and it's also referred to as the Struggle. Uh, so we'll start the Kirkstone Pass now. Motorcycle hazards, wind, rain, gravel, you drive, aware, ride, aware. Oh, it's a beautiful view isn't it, look at that, just love those views when you get the twisty roads going down um, I'm blessed by the weather gods, I mean it wouldn't be a, as nice on a rainy day So I'll say it, look at that for a view I have justification in saying so <laughs> If you're liking the uh, video guys, uh, please subscribe, click the like button and uh, maybe the bell or notification for future releases of videos rhinos and hard knot passes 30 percent extreme caution narrow route severe bends winter conditions can be dangerous and suitable for caravans and there's a bit of a claim to fame sticker section there on that board if you recognize your sticker give a thumbs up on this uh, video or put mention in the comments down below so yeah my stickers there uh, <laughs> i've got any stickers <laughs> Who knows, maybe one day I'll get some DMT. DMT was here. It looks flat as a pancake, doesn't it, on the video? But uh, can you hear the chugging of the engine because it's struggling to, uh, I'm in third. I'll, I'll go down to second to make it easier on the engine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm sorry, but um, that's gotta be worth a photo. You cannot be inspired or amazed by something like this, a biker's paradise, isn't it? Um, beautiful. This little bridge here separates the rhinos from the hard knot, so just leaving the rhinos now. Uh, going on to the hard knot pass, as it says there. I think that's like just somebody's house there. Yeah, so over the little bridge and then. Uh, through the cattle grid, through the warning signs, narrow route, severe bends, yep. Now that's quite steep, isn't it? Bit bumpy as well, but no problem for the GS. Can't really see her. That's quite. That's quite uh, an acute angle bend there. I can't see what's coming ahead, so I'm gonna. I, what I want to do is I want to keep my speed up, so 
so I don't have to stop. I don't want to stop on this uh, gradient. I can see, looking ahead now. I can see around the bends, so I'm happy. There's nothing coming. I think if it had, something had been coming, because I was concentrating on those two, three bends. If a car, something had been coming the other way, I guess if it was a car, they could have stopped. It's easy for them to stop on the hill. Um, and let me through. Now this is this is that steep. This is the steep one. Yeah, that's the steep one. Yeah, get round it. Just another one here. And I'm glancing ahead now again. <sighs> yeah. First gear this all the way up these hairpins. If that's the if that's the worst of it, then I'm happy. Does it get any worse than that? Or more challenging, shall I say? I don't know. Sitting in first gear. Looks flat as a pancake, doesn't it? But let's have a little stand up, see what can... And if I stand up, they can see my helmet as well. Well, I think that's it. I think that's the worst of it. I think we're at the summit. Yeah, because we're descending now. Yay, did it, did the hard knot. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, so... Oh, I wonder if this is the bend where people come the other way. I recognise this one. I imagine that's quite a bit of a challenge coming. Um... Morning. Whether he's got his headphones on, I'm not sure, but... Uh... Respect to him cycling up that. Yeah, I can imagine this is um, might be as challenging coming the other way. Yeah. Bucket list uh, hard knot rhinos ticked off the list. But this is going to the top of my list uh, for the most. Uh, for the best rides I've ever done in the UK. It's got everything, without a doubt. Could do with a coffee after that, need a bit of caffeine. <laughs> As you're coming to Gosforth, the uh, little cafe which sells the meat and potato pies is just there on the left as you come in uh, next to the budgeons and there's a free car park opposite. So after grabbing a bike to eat at Ghostforth, I've gone up to the A5086 uh, coastal road. I'm going up to Cockermouth and I'm going to pick it up again at the Winlatter Pass uh, and then down to the Newlands Pass and the Honister Pass to Keswick and then back to Penrith. So there's Winlatter Forestry, England. It says now the Winlatter Pass, the B5. Just break this bend. B5292 as I'm looking at the dash there's a right hand bend coming. Wee! Nice spectacular views in the valley at the background there. Just keep my eye on the road. Right, Newlands. So we're not just done the wind ladder behind me there and now we're going on to the Newlands Pass as ever going upwards let's get to the top of Newlands mountain so high it looks like it's going into the clouds doesn't it um, yeah that's a big one there's many people climb that one close encounters with the third kind yeah. Can't really look behind me, but oh yeah, there are some people up there. Look, going down that. Uh, let's have a little, little look. Best ride I've ever done. Easy to see why. I don't think uh, you'll get this effect. Uh, when I watch Itchy Boots, uh, like she says, it's never you never get that impact as um, you do when when it's immersive in real life. You got the sights, the sounds, the smells, the fauna. Um, 
it's fully immersive so there we go guys I've come to the bottom of the pass now it says left to Keswick 12 and a half miles via the Honister Pass so it's the Honister Pass next something about water isn't there look at that beautiful tran tranquility beautiful something about it don't know what it is even the cow's taking a dip in the water there look <laughs> I was going to say, they all look very similar, but they don't. All, all these mountain passes, have got their own character. Narrow road, bends, maximum 25% gradient, and uh, see how steep it is, because these guys are getting off and pushing. Sort of entranceway there, with a the slate. There's probably a slight mine there. Oh, this is Sky High Calf. Yeah, I will get a cup of tea here. I've heard of this. So I'm going to stop here and get a rosy Lee. Get a cup of tea at the Sky High Calf. Shows you how difficult it is to ride up these hills. This guy is pedalling like mad and he's at, almost at a standstill. Let's get going again. Cue the music. Yeah, so the Lakeland Loop guys, 144 miles clockwise, uh, four hours bit, say five hours if you're stopping off for a break. Um, it's a fantastic route, it's got everything in it and it's gone to my number one favourite rides to do today as of September 22. Um, so yeah, if you're not doing it, get on it, maybe when the weather's nice and I can't recommend this one enough. Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, uh, maybe subscribe, press the like button and notification bell and we'll see you in the next one.